Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Agents of Chaos Gaming, where order comes to die, chaos reigns, and I haven't said that catchphrase in a hot, hot minute. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> We're back with DMC3, and it is time to go deal with the clown for real. I want to fight the clown, not this clown. I want to fight this clown, not that clown. Also, there are there's too many 19. clowns. Very obvious. But, the clown clown uh, with the clown clown can go on, clown 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 clown. Everyone, what's your favorite top? What's your favorite clown in fiction? Not clown character. I mean, actual clown. Are you done crying, lady? Exciting. <laughs> uh, that was a cutscene. I know. It's so silly. I mean, this is a game where he rode up the side of a tower on a motorcycle. Yeah, I don't have any for that. I shouldn't need any items for this anyway. Where did you get all those orbs, Faith? Huh? Last thing, I thought you only, I thought you ended that mission with 5,000. So, the game does give you some extra orbs at the end for, like, um, your overall ranking bonus, and then for boss fights, they'll give you some as well. Anyway, this is where the Hell Abyss gets their proper introduction. I also just realized I forgot to change the style, so I still got six at the moment. Oh, well. I wish they have the weakness too. Yep. And as per usual, you can tell there's what their weakness is because it has like an elemental effect coming off of it. I think on them, that means they're weak to I like how we're just trudging around in a pile of, I don't know what, or a pool of... It kind of reminds me of, like, the mood slime from Ghostbusters 2 and it's, like, actual form. Like, pink slime. Versus the pink generic green like the video game did. We are currently in a jar of soy. Yeah, it's the Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid man's gonna come in in a minute as a demon. <laughs> oh, yeah! Imagine. It's just a jar of soy. It's like... It's just, it's the same thing, but it's just got angry eyebrows and, um, <laughs> horns. Oh, yeah! Oh, it's got glass horns, specifically, so, like, the liquid will, like, go up into the horn, if it's that full. Yep. Yep. Speaking of that, there's prob probably a video you guys should check. It's basically a demolition crew, and they're fucking about, and literally one of them just goes, Oh, no, and the guy runs through the wall. Oh, yeah! Okay, I didn't actually know there was anything up here. I just kind of jumped and then landed up here. So that's, uh... Ooh. There's a discovery and a half. So, this room is interesting. We got a couple of abysses in here, but I can't actually hurt them. So the gimmick for the room is you actually want to smash the, the glass when it's, uh, green. Otherwise... These guys will not do anything. In fact, if I have it... Where did it go? Stop moving, where are you? Oh, that's why it wasn't working. Apparently I have to be targeting something for the world to go off. Now I'm going to tell where it is. I do love how it is, like, like the same thing. There's, like, the color green. Yeah. What is the true monster in this world? The mirror. Now, thankfully, you don't have to smash every glass, but... Whoa, okay. It's like, oh, the camera going crazy. Oh wait, the guys were in the mirror and they were jumping about to get the reflections to attack you. It's not that you get the reflections to attack you, it's just you have to smash the mirror in general. So like, they don't take any damage even while you're smashing the mirror. Um, it's just, you have to break the glass for anything to happen. Also, just because. 
Out of the two extra styles that you get, this one's probably the most useful of the bunch, just because, I mean, it's time stopping, so it's not the love. I imagine going through a playthrough of this with a Super Dante costume would just be a uh, good old time having uh, the ability to just freeze time whenever you feel like it for as long as you want. Just imagine the van with freeze time. I mean, we basically just did that. <laughs> no, but I mean, like, just, okay, freeze time, just stand there and watch her going, okay, I can I kill you right now, but I'm just going to Alright, so this room actually does have a gimmick to it, which I didn't say anything about. And it is the fact that there is a hourglass in the room. If you don't kill those guys before the hourglass um, empties out, the room will reset and you have to basically do it all over again. I think I just barely had enough time, actually. Err, uh, yeah. So, we now have that thing, and... Why are we back here? Yeah, no. They just let they throw you out there just to try and freak you out, but you don't have to do anything in there. Same with this. So what you actually need to do is you get the samsara that you picked up from the other room, and you stick it here. And now this changes, and we go back through, and this area kind of looks familiar. The fly. Yep. And I'm gonna switch out my gear real quick. And I'm gonna go grab Beowulf because I like having punch kick gauntlets. And as much as I love having Quicksilver, I'm busting out Trickster. Through the door to your finale. What? Into a backed up toilet. Why do you always stick your nose in other family's business? Come on, dude. Don't you have any hobbies? I have that no as a gift. That is a very useful gift. <laughs> Which one? No don't one you have any me. hobbies? <laughs> yeah. No, Crunchy, to change the subtitles, don't you have a life? And now comes the thing that most fans of this game, as much as we love it, we have to question why. You go from looking like that badass to... Well, he's a fucking blob. What? <laughs> I love that line. What? Anyway, that shape suits you better. I'm sorry, Chris. What? <laughs> Let's begin the That's most people seeing this fight. I, uh, I have a question, Mr. Developer. Why did you make that design and then, by the way, we're gonna turn him into the fucking blob? Yeah, nobody really knows why that they did this. It doesn't make sense like, at all. Just why are you a blob now? I mean, I like the thing from. I like the thing John Carpenter's the thing as much as the next guy, but what? Get back! Uh. So, yeah, as a blob, he doesn't really do too much. He does, like, swipe at you, and then he will send these slug things at you, which you can just get rid of with the uh, point of hand. Like, they all more or less punch up, so you can just shove the rocket in their face. Then he comes back down. And you just go to town on him. Like, yeah, he swipes at you, but it doesn't really do much else, unfortunately. He's not very exciting. And I'm... This is the, uh... This is the penultimate fight. Because obviously there's one more coming up. Anyone who knows how DMC mission numbering works. There's one more fight. There's one more mission coming up. 
Is it from the char is it from the character who shares the name with someone from Thunderbirds? <laughs> I like Thunderbirds. But do you like the old sex movie? No. And that animated series was I like the I like the puppets. You're not the real Sparta, you're a human with a sword. Um, bad pictures! Oh, I can't handle it. <laughs> That's such a dumb line. Look at you, making a big dramatic entrance and stealing my spotlight. What? Just hit you each other. You possibly believe that he deserves to be our main event now. Now that you mention it, you're right. Yeah. You yes. should come to realize you cannot control the power of Sparta. Like a Virgil kind of like. Finger wagging slightly with that. I hate the fact that whenever they say Sparta, I hear Sparta. You cannot people. control the power. You cannot control the power of Sparta. All right, so we now have a new level gimmick for this fight. Virgil is now here, and unfortunately, this. Having him here kind of gimps you a little bit in a way because he takes away your style button. You can, if you hit the style button, he recalls himself back to your side. But otherwise, he's pretty much running on autonomous. He's just doing his own thing. And this is also one of those instances where if you have a second controller, it's a secret uh, co op mode. But otherwise, yep, he's here. Also, unfortunately, having them here deactivates the double trigger. I don't know why that is, but I can't use this right now. Thankfully, though, Arkham is so much of a joke for the boss fight, I don't need to rely on it. But, yeah. It's another one of those, it's kind of neat in concept, but the way they execute it on it is a little wonky. Also, all of these bugs. The coin the ant is a good way to get rid of them. The problem is just the, the firing speed on this rocket launcher. Yep, that's what he says here. Die, die, die. I will say though, this cutscene coming up is probably one of the coolest things ever. Boom! So you get this moment of badassery where they're using each other's swords. And posing. Classy for someone's dying words. <laughs> I mean, really, is there anything else you can say to that? <laughs> I would have said, Hey, you died as my father lived. A bitch! 
if Sparta was actually a badass, because that doesn't really work. And into hell they go. Yep. So, yeah, that's the final fight with Arkham. Um, that was a thing. Yeah, putting it mildly. Alright, where's my disappointment button? <laughs> That's yeah, that's a common criticism that a lot of fans have for this game. Nobody... I don't think anybody likes that fight because it doesn't make sense, I guess. Because he turns himself into Sparta, but then he becomes a blob and it's just like, why? I mean, there's one simple answer, really, I guess, for why he's a disappointing blob and it's because of what's coming up in the next mission, and considering how that's framed, I'm sure anybody with half a brain cell can figure out what's next. But, yeah, no. Arkham's final dance like that, ugh. Not great, but we do have some amazing coming up next, so join us next time for the final mission of DMC3. Where, as you can probably guess, it's rematch time for the brothers one for one final time so join us for that thank you all for watching and we will see you guys next time bye